Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the show. Hope you're doing really well. If you're ever wondering if the Boss Katana Mark II can actually capture the raw essence and tone of a 5153 on the Blue Channel, just stick around, we'll check it out. I was sitting around trying to learn the riffs from Jakey Lee's Bark at the Moon, and I'm going straight through the front of the EVH 5150 on the Blue Channel. This is the 50 watt version, the 6L6. And I've just got a really nice, sweet sort of raw tone that's all 5150. And that song just had the dynamics and things, just like big chords ringing out. And I couldn't help but think if the Boss Katana Mark II could actually capture that raw tone, the essence of the 5150, without any pedals or anything to hide behind and just have a really solid bass line for a raw tone. And so I guess here we are. Uh, before we get into it, I'm using my Jackson, the SDX. It's got a Demazio D100 in the bridge. That's all we'll be using today. And it's just going straight into the front of the 5150 with no effects, as we said. And the 5150 is going out through the Torpedo Captor X, which is simulating my 1936V cabinet here with a single SM57 pushed up to it just off the side of the dust cap. And to keep the variables exactly the same for today's experiment, both heads are going through the Torpedo Captor X one at a time that we'll have to unplug. You can't run them both at once. That's going into my audio interface, which is going into Logic. And in Logic, I've got Softube's TSAR1 reverb just going, just to give the same ambience for both, as the Bark at the Moon riffs needs a little bit of ambience to sound good. So that's everything going on for capturing the recording today. But just for the birds so they don't miss out, I've got an attenuated, really quiet signal just going to my Mesa 112 Recto in the corner, just so that they can have some fun too and listen to what I'm playing. But the actual outputted sound that is loud is coming through my headphones. So anyway, let's just get on with it. This is through the 5150. <laughs> So to me, that's the exact tone that I expect from a 5150, that blue channel. It's just got all those dynamics and the chords ring out beautifully and it, it's got the right sort of amount of aggression, but it's, it's sort of rounded and smooth at the same time. But anyway, I'll swap the chords over and we'll just see how the Boss Katana goes. And we're all ready. Oh, did anyone notice my Garage Days EP cassette tape, the 598? Uh, I was in at Rock 8 Records the other week. It's still in the plastic and everything. I don't have a cassette tape player, but when I was a kid, I actually bought this. I went Harvey's. It was $50 in a record shop in Melbourne. I thought only the hardcore Metallica fans would actually have this. And so I, we bought it. We went Harvey's in it. 50 bucks. It was in a glass cabinet. We thought we were so hardcore. And it was in the counter at Rock 8 Records. I go in there a bit with my daughter. She loves buying all records and things. And Mick there's really cool and we just sit there talking about metal and everything. And I was looking at it under the counter and I told him the whole story and he said, here man, just, just have the cassette, just take it. And I says, oh, I can't do that. But I said, oh, at least let me like wear one of your t-shirts in YouTube or something. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing the Rock Ape shirts from now on, this is my new uniform. It's uh, support your local business. That's Mick at Rock Ape Records. It's the coolest record collection ever. And he's got everything in, but I haven't seen... Randy Rhodes tribute yet. So I'm waiting for that one to come in to bite. But apart from that, he's got everything there and it's just so cool. But anyway, back onto the show, we've got the Boss Katana Mark II plugged in and this is the same riff. <laughs> And Mango, he loves it. He gets so excited. That's why I've got a little bit of sound coming out of the speaker. And he, he, 
They all love it. I think just a little bit of noise. I'm not deafening them. But that tone that's really close, it's much closer than I thought it would actually get. Uh, you can see the settings there. It's just super basic. I've got no output EQs, nothing really going on. There is an input EQ that I use for the Boss Katana only because I find if you don't use an input EQ, just the dynamics of the guitar going in, it's not balanced. It doesn't give you a balanced tone, but if you just scoop out some of those tones on that graphic EQ that I've got there on the majority of tones that I use for it, you actually get a really clean, clear tone that's equivalent of what comes out of like a valve amp. And you lose that sort of solid state style tone that is inherent with them, I suppose. But anyway, I'll just keep playing through the riffs now and we'll just A and B them, go back and forth. Have a good listen, be honest, just see if all the dynamics are there. It's a really raw tone, all the nuances should just stand out. There's nothing really going on there. <laughs> And so there you go, I tried to play that riff exactly the same. It's sort of, it's a hard riff to play, it's just so much fun. But I tried to play it with the same sort of intensity and the same way I would, not changing the way I play to suit the amp. Sometimes you do that, like you have different dynamics and things coming out of the amp, but I just tried to do it the same. And uh, that riff, that whole chorus riff is just so cool that... Um <laughs> That is just such a cool riff. That actually, that should have been in that top 10 riff video that I did. That's a really cool one. Jakey Lee, yeah, awesome. But anyway, I thought I'd just make that video. I think it'll answer a lot of questions for you. It's just really raw tone. I think the Boss Katana, in my opinion, it does really well. It's, it's almost indistinguishable when you compare the two and you look back at it. But uh, I think playing the EVH seems to have just a little bit more weight, a little bit more sort of roll off after you finish playing that it's just those valves sort of coming down and, and you just have that a little tiny bit more thump. But other than that, it's the actual tone, I, it's hard to tell them apart. Just anyway, it's all out there. You guys just see for yourselves, see what you think. But um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take care guys. Bye now. Oh, there you go, mate. Hey. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Oh. Here. You move over. Good boy. 
How's that? Good boy. Ah, ow. Fuck you. <laughs> We're done.